Good day everyone, I am Alexandra Mirador from BSN1 BN11 and in this video, I am going to tackle about problem solving with patterns. But first, I'll explain what a difference table is. So, difference table is a table made by subtracting adjacent entries in a sequence, then repeating the process in those numbers. And these are the problems I intend to answer. And in order to predict the next term, we first need to find the first difference. And to find the first difference, we must subtract the first term from the second term, and then from there, subtract the previous term from the next term. So this will be the first difference. Then we proceed to finding the second difference. And for the second difference, we will use the same procedure that we used in the first difference. And then we will add the second difference repeating term to the last term in the first difference. And lastly, we will add the number that we got on the first difference to the last term in our problem in order to get the number 97. Then we move on now to the next problem which follows the same procedure as the first. And just like what I said to the first difference, we must subtract the first term from the second term and from there, subtract the previous term from the next term. So to get the second difference, repeat the process that we use in the first problem. So this will be the answer. And similarly to the first problem, we will simply add the second difference repeating term to the last term in the first difference. Um, subsequently, we will add the number that we got on the first difference to the last term in our problem in order to get the number 40. Then, we move on now to the last problem, which follows the same procedure as the first. So, just subtract the first term from the second term and just repeat the process. And for the second difference, we will use the same procedure that we used in the first difference. And this will be our second difference. Since the second difference does not repeat itself, we need to get the third difference by simply repeating the procedure that we did to get the first and second differences. And this will be the third difference. And then we will add the third difference's repeating term to the last term in the second difference. So the answer will be 36. Next is, you need to add the last term, which is 36, to the last term in the first difference. So, the answer will be 125. And lastly, we will add the number that we got on the first difference to the last term in our problem, in order to get 329. So, this will be all the final term for each problem. And that's all. Thank you for watching.